Welcome back, everybody. Fishing Planet Friday, another uh, another day, another episode of our leveling experience on this brand new account. We're up to level 14 and we are firmly planted on Rocky Lake. And I think what I want to do here, so we're still at the same spot where we last left off. We still have full inventory. We can't add any new lures or anything, or we would um, without leaving, but we don't want to pay this travel cost again. We still have a full keep net. So what that means is we actually need to rotate to the next day. So we will um, go ahead and do that. We pro I mean, I think we probably could have done that from that screen, but uh, we'll do it from this. So we're going to hit Y and go to next morning. It's decent fishing first thing in the morning. So I'm actually realizing and this is just a good lesson for me to learn and hopefully remember next time we do this. We should have gone to the next morning. Let's see, what time is it? 12. Yeah, we should have gone to the next morning last time. Because I think now we're on the next morning. We're extending by 300. But now we can't go again. Although since it was so late in the day, the penalty is almost non-existent. So never mind. It's fine. It's all good. This is what I'm thinking though. We um, remember this is the day that basically once we get $300 worth of fish, we are basically into the profit. So on our first rod, we're going to have 3.15 mono leader, one O hook and the small minnows. And we'll go ahead and throw this one. It seemed to do really well up there. And then on our second rod, um, the one we're going to be fishing with, we will once again be using this nano spinner two gram number two with fluorocarbon line. And apparently the fluorocarbon line, very important for this place. I haven't done testing to confirm that, but that's what I keep hearing and reading about is how much better your experience will be with fluorocarbon line here. So it is five in the morning. Let's just see if we can stay for a while. I don't know if we'll completely fill up the, the fish jail this time. Maybe we will kind of just depends on how fast it goes, I guess. But let's see if we can stay for a while and um, just make some profit. This is a chance to just earn some money. It would be nice to go home, change out the lures we have, um, do some of that stuff. But frankly, I'm just not too worried about it. Uh, but I do want to enjoy making a little bit of profit while we can. I think we can just reel him straight in, but I need to watch that far right. See, everything's getting a little wear and tear because we've used it a good bit. Maybe this will be a rainbow trout. We noticed last time how much the rainbow trout are worth. That is a cutthroat trout. So that's worth a hundred. Seems like seems like the golden and the rainbow trout are the ones worth the, mo the most, which I don't remember. Like I didn't really notice, but I don't think we caught a ton of goldens last time. And I don't know if that's just like random or if there's ways to like target the goldens better than what we're doing. So there's a young rainbow trout take whatever we can get especially with that quick bite rate We casted that one pretty far to the right compared to where we usually do. But it doesn't seem like it's got too much size to it. Uh, 
another young rainbow. That one was, was worth 60 though. I'm going to pull up one of these sheets and see, see the Go Colorado Golden Trout. Number one. Man, I think it's listing. It's actually listing the larger size. If, I, if I'm going to compare it, I'm going to pull it up and ooh, pull it up in just a second here. This might be a nice fish. We'll see, but he's got a little bit more weight to him. I think. Let's see, the last one was what, like a regular cutthroat or something? Trophy. Trophy, trophy cutthroat, 247. It's a nice one too. That is awesome. I'm gonna try just kind of like going right out here into the deep or in the middle, not at, not at the wall. Just see how that does. It's gonna go down into the deeper waters, 2.9 meters. Okay, so let me look at inventory here. I'm just noticing on the Colorado Golden Trout, it seems to be recommending the number one nano spinner up to the 10 nano spinner so maybe we should try this one let's we'll see what the other guide says for this level five golden colorado nano spoon spinners turtle spoon flies crickets grasshoppers we should try that number one hook with flies crickets or grasshoppers what if we put number one hook and flies on there and we threw it back in the trout spot? Okay, I kind of want to try that. Let's go ahead and reset this and try that. I think we have number one hooks with us. We at least have number two. All right, hooks, number one, and flies. And again, I want to put them sort of far back there, sort of thinking that this is a trout area, hopefully. We're less likely to catch a big bluegill or something on the flies, but we'll see. Might as well try it. And once again, let's kind of go back here. So now we're using a larger nano spinner. Let's just see how it goes. Mm. Okay, this is interesting. I mean, that's not a bluegill, right? It's not a not a big trout if it's a trout, but I also cannot imagine that that's a bluegill. Maybe I just don't have as, a good enough imagination, but. Okay, so that is a young rainbow trout. Good sign. Might be worth trying a bigger hook with the flies. I don't know. We'll give it a little bit more time, though. The good news is flies are a lot cheaper bait. So if we can do pretty well with flies and still get to be able to bottom fish on that, like that's, that's really cool. I'm excited to think about that possibility. And we could still try crickets and grasshoppers as well. Ooh, yes. Okay. This seems like a nice fish. And this was on the larger. Maybe we should give the rainbow, the one aught nano again, a try again. I don't, I don't actually think that's a golden though. Maybe it's just a really big rainbow. We'd rather it be that than cutthroat, I think. Trout master, not a trophy, just a cutthroat trout. Okay. All right. We caught one immediately on that. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. So this is a one aught hook. I would think we're getting into like a little bit of a too big of a hook, but maybe not as we get an immediate bite. So last, last episode, 
I, apparently I didn't stick with it long enough perhaps, but I just remember thinking like, oh, these larger hooks are just way too slow a bite rate. Let's go back to the two gram one, the smaller one with the smaller hook. I'm not so sure that's the answer though. This, this seems legitimately good. I mean, we've had very fast bites on both of these larger, larger spinners. Here's a trophy cut, cutthroat. We're getting a lot of cutthroats in this one spot, it seems like. Um, let's go back in this corner. No, let's, let's go, let's go middle. The flies have died down. Haven't had another fish on flies yet. Maybe after this, this catch, we'll, we'll give crickets a try. Okay, so nothing here. I want to check something because I'm just noticing that, and I don't really think about this, um, it is saying zero. Zero nine. Oh, minus nine. All right, second fish on flies. Let's see what we got here. And we'll try crickets maybe. There are the crickets. All right, let's try this again. Zero minus nine. How cool would it be if there was like a way to just put the numbers in? So right there. This is a spot that this one um, spreadsheet has listed. Oh, I need to go back and add the links to these two spreadsheets in case I haven't done that yet. I can't remember. And that's right there. All right, let's see what this is. And then let's cast our feeder rod right at that spot. Okay, and then this one, while we're kind of testing some spots here, 
let's actually go back to not the smallest, but the medium one. And we're going to cast it right past the marker so we can pull it right through the marker. Let's just see if we can find a golden. I think those are, I think the goldens, though all the trout are good, my understanding is the goldens might be the very best in terms of XP and cash. Wow, how much deeper is it over here? I think it's a lot deeper. Okay. Just when I was starting to starting to wonder there. Young Rainbow. Oh, we hit level 15. So there's a kayak we can purchase, some new reels, one new rod, new line, natural eggs. Some larger spinners, interesting. Yellow maggots, feeders. I don't remember how much the license costs, but apparently that's about to expire. We'll have to get a new fishing license. Hey, that's exactly what we were wanting to catch. So that's a normal one, and it's, and it's $100, $100. That is exactly what we were trying to catch, though. Um, Colorado Golden Trout. So what are we at? 6.9 of 15. So not quite halfway. I'll try to remember next fish to actually look at the entire net just to kind of get a sense of where we're at money wise. very small fish I think I'm gonna put the the rainbow one back on to see what we can do here all right we've had a lot of youngs but we are at 1100 1100 not too shabby all right we're gonna go rainbow okay let this one be a Colorado, a golden. Let's let this be a goldie and not a cutthroat. I think it is. Oh, it's a trophy. Oh, 136. So, not quite as okay so it looks like the golden trout and the cutthroat are good for a combination of xp and cash with the cutthroat i mean with the golden being the best of the two but the rainbow trout is the cash one And what does it say for bottom? What could we use on that? Flies, crickets, small minnows, eggs. So we could still use crickets. 
And by the way, its spot is minus 24, zero. Uh, yeah. Because then we have the picture of it. But we have to deal with this. Let's see, plus minus. that one and let's go to minus 24 zero That is rainbow. Interesting. Okay. All right. I mean, I thought that was a good cast, but I guess not. Hmm. The license has expired. Boy, we have a decision to make now. How much is the license? I mean, we'll make 600 and what, three fish, four fish? Let's just go ahead and do it. I, I don't know how much more we'll, f we'll fish here. We could fish here a lot more over the next few days. We may, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. So we have seen some rainbow trout over here. I mean, I think we've seen more rainbows casting to this area than we have the Colorado Golden. So that does sort of line up with what our what our experience has been. <laughs> From one snag to another. Was I supposed to keep some of that stuff for some reason? I mean, it doesn't matter, my backpack's full, but. I'll try this one more time. Rainbow trout, flies, crickets, minnows, eggs. Ooh, come on, rainbow. Oh, so apparently there's the possibility of a unique Colorado gold trout and a unique cutthroat trout. Interesting. Trophy Cutthroat 2315. Is that at the other map? Oh, we can't get to the other map. All right, 23. Okay, it's not, it's just over here. Okay, 
Um, Fifteen. Ooh, that's way back there. Can I even reach that? How do you, uh, you gotta have something that casts longer, I guess. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a long cast. That seems like maybe something you come back for after you've got some even more advanced equipment, maybe, or maybe a casting setup. I don't know that for sure, but it does seem like this is where a casting setup might be relevant. We're not going to worry about that right now, though. I think in this game, too, I don't know about these uniques in particular, but some uniques also need, like, the right weather. I mean, there's some, like, time and weather factors that are pretty important, perhaps. I guess that was a fish chasing it. Somehow I messed up that opportunity, maybe. Um, one thing we could think about is... What if we did large one hook lies... Of course, I have no idea the depth. Um... Hmm. That would be some trial and error, I guess. But yeah, what I'm thinking is we could try the... Ooh, let's skip. We could try that instead of bottom. I know people have said that float works better here than, than bottom rods. We've actually done quite well on bottom rods, but... Maybe there is something to that. Let's see. I don't know how deep, but I mean, it's gotta be at least a meter. It's a pretty deep spot we're casting into, right? This is a, a little smaller line. So this could become an adventure, but let's just see how it goes. Now I've got to watch that. Um, let's go back down to this one, the nano four gram number one. We just need to keep an eye on that float. There it went. So let's see what size we're talking about here on flies. Okay. Pretty, I mean, pretty decent there. So we did catch a trout. We caught it on flies. It's decent size. Let's 
Kind of interesting. I just wonder if a lot more bites come down at the bottom on these lures. Maybe not. I mean, we're catching it at one meter down on those flies, but a lot more variety and elevation when we're fishing on this side. Wow. Um, compared to the other side. I like it. It's going to be a trophy golden again. So that's 189. Some really good XP. Look how much that XP bar went up. Okay. Coming straight in. All right, we're at 11 out of 15. If we catch pretty good size fish, we can really only hold about five more, four to five.
Wow. The last possible minute there. We got a fish. I don't know if I can keep an eye on that and cast where I want to cast. I guess I can't. So we'll just try over here. We just want to be able to get to that rod pretty quickly, especially since it's float. Bite rate's picking up. Is this a small little cutthroat or a rainbow? That is a young cutthroat. The only complaint I have about flies, with some exceptions, we tend to be trending smaller. Wow. Again, the bite rate. I think that's a Colorado Golden. Is it a normal or a young? Oh yeah, 121 and some XP, that is nice. Hmm, yeah, let's go back to a, so I mean, to me it's like, do you wanna make it larger hook size or go to a little bit larger bait? And I think I'm gonna try a little bit larger bait. Um, I guess let's just try the grasshoppers. We'll just leave it there. Yeah, we're at 12 and a half kilos. I mean, most of those fish we've been catching are very small, but I mean, they're still worth a few, but few, few dollars. I mean, those young trout are worth what the larger spotted bass were worth at, at Texas. So. You know, you definitely are in a new bracket of uh, potential earnings here, without a doubt. So I've always felt a little better about the bite rate over on this side, so I'm going to go back to the bigger one. Perfect timing. Let's see what we've got here on grasshoppers. Mostly, let's just see what the size is. That looks like a Colorado Golden, actually. It is. Okay. This is a, a nice fish, potentially a little nicer than any other trout we've caught today. So we've got to hope it's a rainbow, right? 
If we're, if we're thinking cash, let's hope it's a rainbow. At first it was really aggressive and I had to back the brake down a little bit, the friction brake, but now it's pretty much coming straight in and I think it's going to be a trophy, but let's see what kind of trout it is. Oh, it's the unique. Wow. We just caught the unique cutthroat. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Back to back nice fish. If this is, well, it doesn't matter. This is big enough. This will be our last fish on this current fish jail. Ooh. Personal record white sucker. Not what I was expecting. So that came in on the grasshoppers. Okay. So that's another possibility back there. That is interesting. Okay, so what are we going to do? I mean, one option truly is just to, I mean, we're kind of figuring some things out here. We could just keep making money, but what is this, 2600 So that does pay for the license and traveling back here if we wanted to. Uh, if we wanted to sort some of what's our, in our inventory. Um, I don't want to go to New York until... I want to go to New York the start of an episode, if that makes sense. Let's just... Um, Let's just go to next morning. Oh, we can't. Okay. So this makes our choice a little more like inflexible. We can get the barbless spoon so we can finish this rocky trial. And let's just do it. We're making lots of money right now. It's not ideal, but let's just do it. We made over $5,000 in that trip. Okay, so one thing that would be nice, and I don't know what availability there is for this, but my backpack is so small. Um, so what do we have on? So the camo vest, that's something that could be upgraded to the comfort camper, I guess. All right, let's think about this. So the Fish Cabin XL just unlocked. Total fish weight 25, 3.5. What we have now is 15, but four. Uh, how big do the walleyes get? Oh, that doesn't help us. That's not how big they are at New York. I mean, in this game. 20 kilos? Come on. Okay. And if they're 20 kilos, none of our nets are going to help. Uh, okay, so we have... This is 1,500. I mean, we know we want to get this soon. This one is a little better. 20 and 6 but that's kind of a small step up. All right, we've already got the triple case. I don't think there's anything that really helps us with more tackles. Um, that's three, one. What we have now is five, one. 
unless we want to go um, with bait coins, which we don't. So the only thing that helps is the comfort camper, which is pretty inexpensive and it does give us seven more tackles. Are we about to unlock a new one? Not till level 20, so no. All right, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Which means we can go ahead and sell this one immediately. Um, so, what we wanted to look at were the barbless spoons. We already have those. Wait, it's barbless spinners. Okay. And we don't have club series. So these come in two gram number two, two gram number two. I think this is the one we want. The one gram. Um, do we want to just do this one? The yellow perch? That one has seemed to have done really well. Oh, it went in our backpack, so our backpack's a little bigger now. That's great. So if we go to this, do that. All right, so Rocky Trials, what we want to do, Rainbow and Colorado Golden. We kind of know where to cast for that. And we're going to get a four gram one aught spinner. That's actually really cool. I don't know if it works, but. Okay, so we've got our barbless. Is there anything else? It's like now that we're away, I'm kind of like, what did we want to get? We've got 18 grasshoppers, 12 red worms, 11 flies, 16 crickets. We can always get more small minnows and we'll, we'll always use those too. The most recently, recent thing we unlocked were the uh, natural eggs, which apparently can be used for trout. Um, but I don't know that I necessarily want to experiment with those right now. I mean, we're going to need these for walleye anyway. It's, I mean, there's there's no waste on getting those. Okay, so now we can finish that quest. Is there anything else? Lures. I really don't think there is. We've got a barbless spoon and a barbless spinner. We know this spinner works. Yeah, I think we're good. It's 2,000 to travel. We make that up in one net. We're already in the positive. I think it's fine. All right, Let's see if we can finish this, um, this trial. We'll start off fishing in the morning and uh, if we need it to pick up a little bit, we'll skip time to the night. All right, so Colorado golden trout right here. Let's see, let's try to put this where there's some flexibility. Do we wanna do, yeah, let's do float some more. And I'm gonna start off on crickets. But we really want to try this 
see if we can get this uh, get this done. We're not releasing a trophy though, right? That would be silly. I mean, if we have the money, I think when it, when we decide we're going to go to New York, we just get the largest fish net that we can afford. That is the most important thing when it comes to maximizing how much potential money you can make per day. It's just having more space to store the fish, more fish to catch. All right, I think we just did it on the first cast here, right? Nope. I really like when that works out where we catch a fish um, right after catching a fish on our on our spinner. So invasion of the uh, the youngs here. So even though it'd be nice to catch, I mean we can catch golden on that rod, but it, it actually has to be on our spinning setup in terms of releasing it for the Rocky Trial credit. really small fish I think the young cutthroat again I wonder if it just doesn't work if you put the big hook on I mean I'm just seeing such small fish I'm, I'm willing to try it So the things that are on the horizon that I want to look into doing, I kind of want to go for the monster fish, especially the ones that are at the beginning places, because um, it's so cheap to travel there. It's not like it cost any money to go make an attempt at those monster fish. I mean, I don't know how it'll go, but so like that's one possibility for new for soon episodes. Um, I guess the other thing is, is this a bluegill or something? Wow, a black crappie. Okay. Um, the other thing is New York. I mean, I think it, it probably comes down to relatively soon, either starting our New York experience or uh, maybe taking a small detour before doing that and going for one or two of those monster fish just for some fun. So it still worked with the bigger hook. Doesn't mean that we got a bigger fish, obviously, but it did still work.
catching a lot of those. Okay. Um, really big hook, really small bait. We'll see how it goes. Hey, rainbow. Love it. Now it's just the elusive golden. At least it's a little bigger fish on the flies. Take it. We'll take it. Decent money on the cut cutthroat. telling you you could make a living just on bottom fishing here with a couple of decent setups and get to know the spots bite rate is not terrible trout pack I mean I'm tempted to at least find out what's in that but we're not going to get that. So small minnows are kind of tempting, but I just I think we'll save small minnows for New York at this point, at least for this map. Small minnows probably on average catches the best trout, but they're also a lot more expensive. So we're catching plenty of good trout without the small minnows. Okay, love it. Uh, okay. Tiny fish. I think I'll focus on this one first. Because you never know when it's the right one. That looks like a cutthroat though, right? Oh, no, it is golden trout. Is, is it not going to give us the reward until we uh, get this fish in? Did we like trick it? We got it in there just in time. There it is. There it is. 1500 plus bait coin. I love it. All right, so. Does that change anything mission-wise? Trout trophies. This nothing else is anything we can do here. I don't think. Nah. Careful angler. Wait, what? Stop and go, release the fish. Okay. Wait, are they wanting us to go to the other? I think they're wanting us to go to the other map. All right, so we have to use stop and go. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it is. Maybe? I'm not sure. I think it's wanting us to go to the other map. All right. Okay. So I now see the error of my ways from earlier this episode. I thought the other location was actually overlooking a different part of the water. But now I see it's not. This is actually the same water. It's just a different part. Uh, and so from here, it is possible to get at least closer, no, to the cutthroat trout location. So where the um, unique cutthroat is. Ooh, you know, somebody, uh, Somebody on my video left a message and I think talked about using stop and go. And so far at least, stop and go seems to be working really well. Not that twitching hasn't been working and twitching is a little foolproof, but man, stop and go has been getting some quick bites. All right, we're gonna let it go. Oh, I don't think we have to let it go anymore. And that's good silver, good money. So we're not going to let it go. Yes, we're on to something here, folks. Man, how cool would it be to be able to finish this Rocky Careful, or careful Angler mission while we're still here this trip? That is a trophy cutthroat. Wow. And this does give a new angle to go after this um, Colorado Golden mark as well. So we'll see. I'm actually going to let it go to the bottom. it just for fun all right one more fish and we've got this next mission complete so cool I actually really like this map I am really enjoying trout fishing 
it is the right amount of reward of fish activity it's just fun All right, Barbless Master. So there's yet another. So this is just a big old six gram. Might as well try it, right? It's huge. Um, is this what we got? This is what we got. The ladybug. That's interesting. I wonder if you're supposed to use it here. Huh. New mission. Where is mud water? Why am I forgetting? Oh, is that Missouri? We haven't caught the grass pickerel. We have better equipment now, though. That's another thing we need to do. We need to go back and finish that. I remember this lure, by the way. This is a good casting spoon. Um, yeah, that's cool. All right, emerald is next. For us, probably. Oh, I still want to go here. We still haven't gone to the other bottom fishing map. Oh, golly. There's so much to do, isn't there? So much, and it's fun stuff. All right, we've been going just about long enough. I don't know. I just This is a huge spinner. A huge barbless spinner. We'll give it a try. All right, we caught a fish. I mean, we have to try the ladybug at least once, right? Spinner four gram, but with a one eye hook. I'm like pretty close to being a stop and go convert at this point. <laughs> it's just working so well. It is working so well. Oh, is this barbless by the way? Not that it matters for any reason other than I'm just curious. Bar barbless does give us a little more XP. A uh, handy tackle box that might be the answer that we've been looking for mayflies that's good uh, 
immediately offers us pro angler bundle i'm just saying oh i meant to look at the actual lure first but we gotta throw it right back in though right holy cow that was awesome how fun is that that we end up with both uniques before even really like trying to go for them. I want to let it sink back down a little bit. Mean to hit right click. All right. What do we want to see? Is this so? This is not. Uh, barbless. It doesn't mean it's not a great lure. So early returns are that it's pretty special, but uh, it's not barbless. So let's see, we're not going to go much longer here, but maybe just a couple fish. And because we just skipped time, even though I'm going to think like, oh, let's skip time at the end of this episode to go to next morning. It's not going to work because the timer won't have gone off yet, so. Just telling future me not to stress about it. Uh, I think that might have been a bite. There it is. This is another nice fish. <sighs> I don't know. Just like that, huh? Just like that.
Okay. Alright, here's the new, other new one we got. This is the one we got for the second quest, second mission. This is also a one eye hook, but it's six grams instead of four, but it's also barbless, which we like. So let's see what we can get in the same exact spot, but with the barbless six gram one. I think I waited just a fraction too long there. I think something tried to hit it at the last second again. Uh, okay, let's let's just see if we can get one more fish before we call it. This has been great though. What a what a fun what a fun time we've had here. Uh, and hopefully, eventually, we'll unlock the monster mission and we'll we'll come back. If we need some fun trout fishing and good money, we might come back anyway. If we, as we have seen, it's still possible to get a fish even this late in the, not this time, huh? All right, maybe, And I don't know if it's because of this lure's size. I mean, we've seen you can catch fish on this lure. But because of the size, it may not be quite as consistent. All right, let's 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 try the ladybug again. And actually what I kind of want to do is I want to try the ladybug, but I want to try twitching with the ladybug. I just don't understand. Like I know I was at the top, but it seemed to me I was still within the range. I was intentionally trying to go a little, on the top half to go a little farther Anyway. Okay. We'll see how Ladybug does with with twitching. See if we can get a fish here. I 
There we go. There we go. We got the fish. Can't tell what it is, but we got the fish. Not the fish that we want, but it is a fish. This feather light has been awesome. I am a fan of the feather light. can't move forward in time that's fine we're at 1600 doing great total money what are we at 11,290 we've got plenty of cash we can upgrade our rod stand to hold two rod stands so we can do feeder fishing more comfortably all kinds of fun stuff we can get into I'm feeling like if I had to predict I'm feeling like maybe we go two things before New York. Since we've got enough money, we go monster fish experimentation, especially at Texas and Czech, if it's doable. And then we go feeder fishing at the new feeder map that we've unlocked. That's what I'm feeling. We'll see. Anyway, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.